day everyone. I'm my name is Lima and I'm Rosa Narvesco, teachers from Tua Elementary School. We're going to present our research entitled Level of Awareness Among Grade 6 Pupils, Parents, and Barangay Councils on the Implementation of the Child Protection and Anti-Bullying Policy at Tua Elementary School. Basis for Intervention Program. For our introduction and rationale, setting a safe, hazard-free, and conducive child-friendly learning environment and maintaining it at all times are the main duties of all school officials, particularly the teachers, which they must advocate and maintain for children to love coming to school. And at all times, they have to feel secured while learning at the same time. Since the school is the second home of the pupils, the best interest of the learners is given prime importance in all its programs. Actions upholding gender and development in the school are also integrated to ensure that schools are conducive to the education of children. The best interest of the child shall be the paramount consideration in all decisions and actions involving children. Even if schools are implementing child protection policy, it seems that abuses among school children are being committed at Tua Elementary School, where children bully other children and then sometimes engage to physical fighting. Hence, it is the aim of this basic research that as a grade 6 teachers of Tua Elementary School, we can minimize the instances of the child abuses committed to and by the pupils so that in later time, the school through the support of all internal and external stakeholders will really become a child-friendly one. Where no child will be abused in whatever form so they can develop into a holistic individual where they can say they have the best happy experiences when they are at Tua Elementary School because their rights are protected and upheld. For our research question, this study determined the stakeholders' awareness on child protection and anti-bullying policy of Tua Elementary School. Specifically, this inquired on the following. 1. What is the level of awareness of the internal and external stakeholders on the child protection and anti-bullying policy of Tua Elementary School as to bullying, verbal abuse, child abuse, games addiction, and media consumption? 2. Is there a significant difference on the assessment of awareness among the four groups of respondents on the above-mentioned variables? 3. What program can be prepared and implemented to increase the awareness level of all the stakeholders on the implementation of child protection policy at Tua Elementary School? For the scope and limitation, the study focused on the awareness level of the grade 6 pupils, teachers, selected parents, barangay officials, barangay tanods, and other stakeholders in the community. The data will come from the adapted instrument of Manimbao 2017, which the respondent would answer and from the informal interview to selected participants. Research Methodology the descriptive method was used in this study as used as an instrument to gather data for the phenomenon to be presented objectively. Letter A, participants and the other, other sources. The respondents to this research were the 38 grade 6 pupils, 12 teachers, 16 selected parents, and 14 barangay tanod and officials, a total of 80 respondents. They were selected using a pur purposive sample. Letter B, Data Analysis Plan. 
each respondent was asked to accomplish the Tagalog instrument. The pupils were assisted by their teachers in answering the instrument. For the other respondents, they were given the same copies with the other respondents. More so, an informal interview was done to get some views from selected respondents of each group. All gathered data were interpreted using this scale. The score range was 4.21 to 5 is very much aware. 3.41 to 4.20 much aware. 2.61 to 3.40 aware. 1.81 to 2.60, not much aware, and 1 to 1.80, not aware. For the result and discussion, number one, the result of the study revealed that the respondents are very much aware on the areas of bullying, verbal abuse, and child abuse, and only aware on games addiction, and media consumption. Number two, there is no significant difference in of the awareness among the four groups of respondents. Number three, for pupils, more socialization exposure and camaraderie through group activities. For teachers, a simple and regular reorientation could always remind them their duties and responsibilities to protect their children under their care. For parents, a parenting education program could be provided by the school during PTC and assemblies. For barangay officials, awareness campaign in the barangay through collaboration with the school and other stakeholder partners can be done so everybody in the community will do his her share to love, care, and protect children and pupils. For the recommendation, the study recommended to sustain its activities that will further improve the implementation of both policies in the school to ensure the child-friendliness of the school.